Four Nightmares 2023 update has finally arrived. And we're going to be going over everything included in it from the arrival of brand new free rewards, brand new free skins, new collaborations, and tons of new mythic items that you guys definitely want to make sure you're staying tuned for as we are going to be going over everything. Just quickly, we are still gifting five of the most loyal subscribers every single day inside of the brand new item shop. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID. And if you happen to be picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTRA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. New Four Nightmares update has finally arrived and obviously we did get the teaser just the other day which obviously showed us the Eclipse Moon. Obviously the date saying October 10th which we do know is going to be the release date for Four Nightmares 2023. We already have tons of information about it such as the fact we're going to be getting a brand new boss at the Eclipse Estate POY obviously being the brand new Revenant Kato Thorn. Which would make sense considering the opening cinematic to this season actually took place during Four Nightmares 2023. We do know this boss will be replacing the regular Kato Thorn that we do have in the POY currently and he actually will be carrying some brand new mythic items. As we do know we're going to be getting the brand new mythic kinetic blade. We will be able to get by defeating the brand new Revenant Kato Thorn boss which is honestly going to be pretty cool considering it's going to be a more approved version of the original kinetic blade we had all the way back in 4 Name Mega. We are also getting the addition of a brand new shotgun which is actually going to be the vampire steak shotgun. As you can see we do actually have the stats for all of the different rarities. We'll also be even including a brand new mythic version as well, which I definitely think is going to be pretty overpowered as it's said to work exactly like the pump shotgun we had all the way back and forth in chapter 1 and chapter 2. We will have to wait and see exactly what happens with that, considering the chances are this gun most likely will be returning every single gear for 4 Nightmares. Be sure to leave your thoughts on that down in the comments as it does look like we're going to be getting a pretty cool change when it does come to the loophole. Also, keep in mind we're going to be getting the addition of some brand new clouds collaborations this year for Four Nightmares. It's one of the very first ones said to be for the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's movie which will be releasing at the end of October. A lot of people have pointed out that the background teaser that Forney officially showed us actually does look very similar to this poster from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. If that is the case you guys can obviously expect to get some brand new Five Nights at Freddy's themed cosmetics such as possibly a Freddy Fazbear skin, possibly some other outfits from the Five Nights at Freddy's universe which I think would be pretty cool to see in the game considering we were supposed to see a collaboration for this all the way back in chapter 2 season 5. And also keep in mind we are also said to be seeing the addition of a brand new event pass with this brand new update too which is honestly going to be pretty cool considering it's most likely going to be themed around 4 nightmares. But you can expect to see some brand new free rewards obviously attached to that with also some brand new skins if you do buy the premium track like what we've seen in the past when it did come to the Star Wars event and also the Jiu Jitsu Kaisen event. That definitely would be pretty cool to see a arrive in the game, considering now everybody is a big fan of these mini event passes. Not only that, we are also said to be seeing the arrival of tons of other collaborations, such as the arrival of Ghostface from the Scream movies, who I think is going to be a super nice addition to see make his way into Fortnite. He was previously in one of Call of Duty's previous Halloween events, where obviously you could have gotten his entire Operator bundle. You know that part of Call of Duty 2023's Halloween event, they will be getting the addition of Ash Williams from The Evil Dead, who we did actually have in Four Nightmares 2022. These collaborations can obviously jump between the two different games which is honestly pretty cool especially seeing as how Call of Duty is actually getting a Doom collab too. There is hope that we can finally see Ghostface make his way into Fortnite with a brand new knife harvesting tool and also a brand new cell phone back bling. Overall I do think this collaboration would be a super cool one to see make its way into the game considering Ghostface is one of my favourite horror characters. But not only that we are also said to be seeing a brand new Marvel collaboration arrive as well for Four Nightmares which is actually kind of random. It's said to be focused around Marvel Zombies which is actually a really popular comic series and it also did make an appearance on Disney Plus. Seeing as how we've had popular characters get zombie skins in Four Nightmares in the past such as the soccer skins and also the superhero outfits. Definitely 
would make sense, with us potentially getting a brand new zombie Iron Man, Spider Man, and also a Wolverine outfit. It's just definitely going to be pretty nice for any of you guys who missed out on those original skins as they were obviously in battle passes in the past. Now, of all of those brand new zombie outfits, be sure to let me know down in the comments which one are you most excited for, as I personally do think that the zombie Spider Man outfit looks pretty cool. Especially with the release of the upcoming Spider Man 2 game releasing on the PlayStation 5 later this month, which is actually going to be pretty cool, so I wouldn't be surprised if we got a collaboration for that as well. Most likely some sort of exclusive edit style being unlockable if you guys do log in on a PlayStation 5, as we did see that with the God of War skin and also the Horizon Zero Dawn skin, we could have unlocked an exclusive edit style. So fingers crossed that obviously is the case, as that was definitely a pretty cool addition. But also we do know we're going to be seeing the arrival of live event game files added with this brand new update too, considering we're going to be getting one of the very last Fortnite updates here in Fortnite Last Resort very, very soon. What we do know is that this live event is going to be focused around the time machine that we do know is inside of Eclipse to stay. Most likely will be involved on in how exactly we do move to a brand new island in Fortnite Chapter 5 as that is set to be releasing on December 3rd. What we do know about the live event itself as it's actually set to have 5 to 6 different stages of the event itself and we will be using a grind rail for a majority of it. And well, fingers crossed that it does not involve us actually doing anything that we did during the Fracture live event considering we can all agree that that was probably one of the worst live events we've ever had in the game. Do you know about some brand new free rewards arriving for Four Nightmares such as the arrival of a brand new Blood Moon Peely outfit which you can't see up on screen right here. Personally, I have to say it looks pretty cool as obviously it kind of looks like a red galaxy outfit. We've never seen Peely get one of these kind of skins in the game so I definitely do think that this one's going to be worth getting especially if it's a free reward. And also the arrival of another free skin which is going to work very similarly to the Chrome Punk outfit where you will need to level up a total of 50 times before the end of the season. Should grant you the brand new Diamond Dealer outfit this time around with new edit styles being unlockable every 10 levels. We do have that skin inside of the game files as it does have a hearts, diamonds, spades and clubs edit style and also some other unreleased ones. One of them said to be directly linked to Midas so who knows he could even be making an appearance in Four Nightmares 2023. We will have to wait and see considering Kato, Thorn and Midas definitely seem to have a lot in common. As for another collaboration, it also looks like Freddy Krueger will also be making an appearance during Four Nightmares 2023 as he was originally supposed to be a boss all the way back in last year's Four Nightmares. Tim actually being located at the Grim Gables POI, which obviously would have been pretty fitting considering this was a ma massive haunted mansion. And he is said to have some of the exact same abilities as the Huntmaster Saber boss had all the way back in Chapter 3 Season 2, and also the Wolverine boss that we had back in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. Four, which obviously is going to have this blade attack where he kind of spins around. We'll have to wait and see exactly what happens with that as I definitely do think that Freddy Krueger would be a super nice addition to see make his way into Four Nightmares 2023. Also keep in mind we're also said to be seeing another brand new bundle including three brand new Four Nightmares skins this year which is actually going to include a brand new Swamp Fish Dick skin, a brand new Fiery Love Ranger outfit and also a new Shadow Meow Souls as we do actually have an easter egg in game for this if you do talk to the Love Ranger skin. I had to look at two of these skins on an Epic Games survey and we still don't know exactly what the Meowsles one will look like, but this most likely will be available in the item shop for some real world money. I personally think it's going to look super cool considering I do think that these skins are honestly pretty sick and I can't wait to see what they look like when they make their way. Once that arrives, be sure to do all of the steps at the very start of this video as we will be giving away the tons of these brand new bundles to different subscribers. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to drop me a follow over on Fresh Cut as they have actually just launched a brand new walls feature you guys will be able to directly interact with me over on those posts so be sure to drop me a follow over there and drop any comment on that and we can get a conversation going all the links are down in the description and also in the pinned comment we do know that Fortnite is supposed to pick up massively when it does come to November and December of this year, considering Epic actually did come out to a few different content creators. They did say that there's going to be a wave of content and coming this November and December, during this time you will not run out of content. Obviously this could be for creative or even battle royale. We do know some massive updates coming to the game from the arrival of the brand new first person POV, the brand new racing mode, the new LEGO collaboration and also the upcoming open world game mode. 
mode. What does look like Fortnite is going to be getting some massive updates over the next few months and obviously I can expect a few of these to arrive at Fortnite Chapter 5. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for this as we are set to receive the addition of a brand new battle pass that will be for exclusively for the brand new racing mode. We will have to wait and see exactly what happens with that as it looks like Fortnite will be completely changing forever. If you guys are excited for the brand new Four Nightmares 2023 update, be sure to let me know down in the comments as it's honestly looking to be one of the best Four Nightmares events we've ever had. But unfortunately guys, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. If you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.